<laughs> Greetings from the National Audiovisual Institute. I am Ella Airola and this is my colleague Julia Alajärvi. Hi there. In two separate videos, we will introduce you to the instructional principles for inclusive media literacy. The instructional principles serve as a checklist to help you reflect on and find ways to improve your own practice. During the videos, we will ask reflective questions to help you grasp the principles. In this video, we go through the following instructional principles. Implement media education in a participatory and context-oriented manner. Increase participation in all phases of the operation. Take care of accessibility. Create a safer space to learn. Be ready to adjust according to the situation. Implement media education in a participatory and context-oriented manner. What is the key target group for whom you are delivering media education? When designing media education, take into account the diversity of participants and treat them as individuals and equals. Take a gender and norm-aware approach as a starting point. Get to know the target group and participants beforehand, for example through discussion or questionnaires. Plan activities according to the participants' needs and competence levels. Motivate participants in a way that is appropriate to their target group. Build bridges between institutional space and leisure time and draw practical activities from the participants' everyday lives and media culture. Produce and use quality materials that are appropriate and interesting for the target group. Take into account the diversity of people in the materials, both in the tasks and in the illustrations. Enhance the materials with topical examples tailored to the target group. Avoid under- and overestimating participants when designing and selecting materials. When communicating, consider the language you are using and include a wide range of people in your communication. Choose appropriate communication methods and channels, taking into account the target audience. Increase participation in all phases of the operation. Make media education activities reciprocal and actively seek to lower the threshold of participation. Participants have a wealth of knowledge that should be drawn on when designing activities. Ask participants what they want and what ideas they have. Make sure that all participants have an equal voice and that everyone's perspective is taken into account. Use activities that encourage sharing and peer learning. Work with participants to plan the topics and objectives of media education materials. Develop materials that contribute to promoting inclusion. Draw on the skills and knowledge of experts with experience in designing content. You can also involve the target group in the communication and its design. Create space for discussion in your communication and also participate in the discussion itself. Collect feedback from participants in different ways and use it to further develop activities, materials and communication. What are the potential ways of increasing participation in your media education work? Take care of accessibility. Try to make the time and place of media education activities easily accessible to participants. Ensure that everyone can participate and that the space or online environment is accessible. 
where appropriate, make use of learning aids and visualization tools to support the activity. Ensure social accessibility. For example, consider how to promote inclusion where exclusion is due to discrimination or fear of discrimination. Where appropriate, organize specific groups for minority groups. Ensure that media education materials are accessible. Where possible, provide materials in different languages and in both text and audio versions. Plain, clear, simple and concise language and text layout help make the material easier to understand. Which languages are most relevant for your target group? Make use of materials that appeal to the different senses. Communicate in clear and structured way so that participants are noticed. Make bold and varied use of different communication methods and channels to promote accessibility. Create a safer space to learn. What is included in the safe space principles in your workplace? Review with participants the principles and practices related to safe space. Make safe space principles visible in media education materials. Ensure that the content of the materials is in line with the safe space principles. Use language and imagery appropriate to the target group. But be truthful, don't sugarcoat it. Be aware of age limits when using films, TV programs, games and social media in media education activities. Address external risk factors on different media platforms. Use non-discriminatory language in your speech, materials and other communication. Raise awareness of safe space principles through communication. Openly moderate discussions in different communications channels and forums. Be ready to adjust according to the situation. Design your equal media education activities to be flexible from the outset. What would contribute to more flexibility in your activities? Structure the activity in such a way that people can participate in different ways and at different stages. Make use of different pedagogical approaches and a variety of different media. Be bold and creative in seizing situations that arise in action. Make materials easily accessible and adaptable as needed. You can do a wide range of tasks or include opportunities for clarification and pruning to the tasks. Be responsive in your communication and interact with people. Reflect through these questions. Which of the above planning principles do you think is the most important? Which of the planning principles have you already taken into account in your activities? What do you think would be easiest way for you to start developing an equal opportunities policy? Thank you for listening. <laughs>